up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Uh, gonna bring you one of those classic power chord kind of beginner riffs that you can add to your arsenal when you're starting to play guitar. It's also just a fun riff. So if you've been playing a while and you just wanna play this riff, it's great. It uses this kind of like uh, inverted power chord, which sounds really nasty in a good way. So we'll zoom in and show you the whole riff and all that. Uh, also, real quick, I really appreciate you subscribing to this YouTube channel of mine. It's greatly appreciated, and I got a lot of cool stuff planned. Uh, also, you can request your songs in the uh, comments below, and I appreciate that as well. Let's zoom in. Break this one down, though. Here we go. All right, so here's a uh, fun riff, but also especially a great little beginner thing to practice. If you're just trying guitar out for the first time, it's great for that, too. But it's also iconic lick to know on guitar. So let's go like this. We go one, two, three strings down is this D string. And we're gonna focus on that string alone for just one second. I'm gonna use the tip of my index finger and that's the root of the riff. That's why I'm focusing on it. That's the home base or foundation. It feels like home. Okay, then we're gonna go, so that's the fifth fret. We're gonna hit that. So try and pick that note. Then we're gonna go up to the eighth fret. Then we're gonna go up a whole step, meaning skipping one fret, up to there to the 10th fret. So we have five, eight, 10. Then we go back to five again and we go five, eight, 11, 10. So you put that together and you get five, eight, 10. Five, eight, eleven, ten. Then we do the first one again. Five, eight, ten, eight, five. Here it is again. Now here's where we add your extra credit students, um, you grade grubbers out there. Uh, we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to add this string with it. So if I play the fifth fret, now I'm strumming this A string and the D string together as a chord. And a tip, beginner tip to try and getting the chord is if you aim for the top string, and just dig into it, you tend to hit that second string as well. If you're trying to strum it too much or too far, you'll hit the other strings. And we, we just want these two, all right? So then we just do the same thing and we play them as chords. That is a little riff to get you going. Have fun. All right, there it was. Thanks again for hanging out. Also, thank you for subscribing to this channel. And you can leave your request in the comments below. I also appreciate you liking these videos and checking out all the other videos. Um, just really appreciate it. So enough of that. Let's get to the next lesson, and I'll see you there. See you later.